So today, we're going to be graphing equations in standard form. Now, these two equations are examples of equations that are in standard form. Notice we have x and y on the same side of the equal sign, equal to just a regular number on the other side. Now, we're not used to graphing equations in standard form. We're used to graphing equations that are in slope-intercept form, that tell you the slope and they tell you the y-intercept. These ones don't do that, so we can't just graph this from just looking at it. However, we can use algebra to get this into slope-intercept form, and that's what we're going to do. So remember, slope-intercept form looks like this, y equals something x plus something, y equals mx plus b. So if we can use algebra to rearrange this to look like that, then we'll know what the slope is, and we'll know what the y-intercept is, and then we can graph it. All right, so let's do that to this one. 6x minus 2y equals 12. I want to get the y by itself. So I'm going to start by subtracting 6x from this side. What I do to one side, I have to do to the other. So let's do that. All right, the 6x is on this side undo each other, but the negative 2y drops down, the equals drops down. And notice, I can't subtract 6x from 12, so I'm going to keep these two things separate. I'm going to keep the negative 6 here and then the positive 12 right here. All right, I've almost got y by itself, but it says y times negative 2, so I'm going to divide by negative 2. What I do to one side, I have to do to the other, and I have to do it to the entire other side, both the negative 6x and the 12. I have to divide the entire thing by negative 2. And when I do that, negative 2s undo each other, and the y drops down, equals drops down. On the other side, negative 6x divided by negative 2 is positive 3x. And positive 12 divided by negative 2 is negative 6. All right, now notice, I've got my equation in slope-intercept form now. It looks just like this. My slope is 3, my y-intercept is negative 6. And now I can graph this. Negative 6 on the y-axis is right here. My slope is 3, or 3 over 1. So it's going to go up 3, right 1, plot a point. Up 3, right 1, up 3, right 1, up 3, right 1. There we go. And with my ruler, I can draw in my line. And there it is. All right. So notice, it does take a little bit of work to be able to do that. But once we do those you know, two steps, we've got our equation in slope-intercept form. And then we can graph it pretty easily. Let's do the second example now, though. Okay, so we've got negative 2x plus 3y equals 9. Again, we want to get y by itself, so I'm going to undo the negative 2x by adding 2x to both sides. When I do that, this time I get 2x's undo each other, but the 3y drops down, the equals drops down, and I can't add x's to regular 9's, like x's to regular numbers, so I'll keep them separate. So I've got the 2x here and the positive 9 right there. All right, now to get y, I'll divide both sides by 3. And don't forget, divide the entire other side by 3, not just part of it, the whole thing. 3's undo each other, y drops down, equals drops down. Now here's where it gets tricky. 2 divided by 3 is not a whole number. So I'm going to keep 2 divided by 3 as 2 thirds with the x next to it. All right, so keep it as a fraction. It'll be easier to graph in a second. You'll see why. Positive 9 divided by 3 is positive 3. All right, so notice, I've got it in slope-intercept form now. So now I can easily graph this. My y-intercept is 3, so 3 on the y-axis. And my slope, because I kept it as a fraction, I can use this as my slope pretty easily. Rise over run, up 2, right 3. Up 2, right 3. Up 2, right 3. And then I'll continue the pattern the other way. And when I draw in my line, there it is. OK? So the key to graphing equations in standard form is use some algebra, get y by itself on one side of the equal sign so that the rest of the equation is in slope-intercept form, then graph it using your y-intercept and your slope. All right, so I hope you found this helpful. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Also, subscribe. It really helps us out. But with that being said, good luck on your math, and I will see you next time.